لله رب والصلاة والسلام على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين قال الله تبارك وتعالى في القرآن المجيد والفرقان الحميد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم وأن المساجد لله فلا تدعو مع الله أحدا All praises to Allah and peace be upon our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. Welcome again to all of you uh, for this uh, session, for this lecture. Today, inshallah, we will talk about the importance of mosque, praying places, musallas, and importance of being connected with mosque inshallah tabarak wa ta'ala allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in his holy book wa anna al masajid lillah believe that mosques are for allah it means for the remembrance of allah for being connected to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala وَلَا تَدْعُوا مَعَ اللَّهِ أَحَدًا So you do not call anyone except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Dear friends, ladies and gentlemen, mosques are houses of God, places of worship, places of education, places of learning, places of social gathering, places of spiritual upliftment and training of souls. In the age of our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, mosque used to be parliament, used to be court, used to be a place for meeting delegates, used to be a place for dawa, works, teaching. It was a place for making people educated spiritually and make people a good human being. It is the place that educates scholars. It is the place from where reformers emerge. It is, it is a place from where our children's children are educated and they are nurtured. What is the purpose of building mosque, establishing mosque? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, said وَمَسَاجِدُ يُذْكَرُ فِيهَ اسْمُ اللَّهِ كَثِيرًا And the mosques are places where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is remembered frequently. And in another verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, فِي بُيُوتٍ أَذِنَ اللَّهُ أَن تُرْفَعَ وَيُذْكَرَ فِيهَ اسْمُهُ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has allowed us to remember him in places where his zikr is being recited, where we do tasbih, do, do istighfar every time. And Mosques are best place in the world. Our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala wasallam said, أَحَبُّ الْبِلَادِ إِلَى اللَّهِ تَعَالَى مَسَاجِدُهَا وَأَبْغَضُ الْبِلَادِ إِلَى اللَّهِ أَسْوَاقُهَا It means that the most beloved plus place to God is mosque. And the most hated place is market. 
Why? Because when we go to mosque, we purify ourselves spiritually, we remember Allah, we learn social ethics, we learn how to please our creator, we learn how to live with the people. And when we go to market, we are busy in doing only worldly works and frequently we use rough languages in the market. That's why our Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Wasallam said, أَحَبُّ الْبِلَادِ إِلَى اللَّهِ مَسَاجِدُهَا وَأَبْغَضُ الْبِلَادِ إِلَى اللَّهِ أَسْوَاقُهَا Mosques are a mandatory thing for our society. We should, must have, we must have a mosque, musallas, praying places in our society. See, when our Prophet migrated to Medina, uh, to Medina what did what did he? He when he went to Medina, first of all, he built a mosque, a small mosque. Why? Mosques are a source of gathering people, source of connecting people, source of unity, source of integrity, source of education, source of learning. That's why, and we all know that no community can survive without unity, without integrity, without uh, learning, without spiritual upliftment. That's why our Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Wasallam, first of all, he built a mosque, Al-Masjid An-Nabawi. What is the excellence of being connected to the mosque? In the light of hadith, our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam said, مَا تَوَقَّنَ رَجُلٌ مُسْلِمٌ لِلصَّلَاةِ وَالذِّكْرِ إِلَّا تُبَشْبِشُ اللَّهُ يُبَشْبِشُ اللَّهُ لَهُ كَمَا يَتَبَشْبَشُ أَهْلُ الْغَائِبِ بِغَائِبِهِمْ إِذَا قَدِمَ عَلَيْهِمْ It means, when a Muslim sits in the mosque for the prayer and remembrance of God. God becomes happy with him just as the people who have been meeting, not been meeting each other since a long time. And when they meet each other, they feel happy. They feel happiness in their self, in, inner, in, the, in inner self. Our Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala says, just like that people, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala becomes happy with us when we visit mosques, when we do remembrance of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. In another hadith, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala's Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Ta'ala described that on the day of judgment, when there will be no shadow except the shadow of Allah, except the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. On that day, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give shadow, take some people in his shadow, and among them is the person who, whose heart is connected with mosque. In, there is a story, a beautiful story also. There was a woman who used to serve masjid, used to clean masjid. And suddenly she died. She died. She died. She died at night. Prophet Muhammad was resting in his home, at his home. 
companions of the prophet gathered and make funerals of her and did not inform our prophet muhammad sallallahu taala so uh, uh, with the intention of not dis disturbing the uh, the prophet when the dawn came in the morning our prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam asked about her asked his companions where is she why am I am uh, I'm not seeing her companions replied o oh prophet she died she died at night and we did not wanted to disturb you because, because you were resting at home we make made funerals of her and we prayed for her our prophet muhammad sallallahu taala alaihi wasallam said painfully feeling a pain in her, in his self he said why did you not inform me you have you should have informed me i would have uh, attended his funerals after that our prophet muhammad sallallahu taala alaihi wasallam said is there someone who can lead me to his grave to her grave prophet uh, companions uh, accompanied him and took to uh, to the grave of uh, that lady our prophet muhammad sallallahu taala alaihi wasallam went to his her grave and prayed again on his grave prayed for her prayed for his her for forgiveness for her blessings it means that we as a community we as human beings should be deeply connected with our mosque mosque brings changes in our life it connects our women men children children to uh, to the to the mosque and through this we can make upliftment spiritually and educationally and we may become a more beneficial human being for the society that's why our prophet sallallahu taala alaihi wasallam never prevent children from entering the mosque rather he was encouraging and we find some narrations which uh, says which say that our prophet sallallahu taala alaihi wasallam entered the mosque while umama bin to zainab radhiyallahu taala anha was on her back on the back of our prophet muhammad sallallahu taala alaihi wasallam that girl that baby was the daughter of hazrat zainab was the uh, daughter of our prophet muhammad sallallahu taala alaihi wasallam she was on her back on on his back and he entered the mosque the narrator says that our prophet muhammad sallallahu taala alaihi wasallam stood in salah in prayer she was on on, on his back and when he did ruku he put the baby on the earth and completed his ruku that's uh, like that he completed sajda and when again he stood up he took the baby on his back it means that our prophet muhammad sallallahu taala alaihi wasallam want that we bring our children affectionately mercifully to the mosque so that they learn they learn how to pray they learn how to speak they learn how to live with the people they make a spiritual upliftment they get trained spiritually 
in another hadith the companions of our prophet muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wasallam say that particularly hazrat anas hazrat anas says that i never saw a prayer lighter than the prayer of our prophet muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wasallam in farz salah farz prayer in five time prayers our prophet muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wasallam used to make lighter prayers why he was conscious of people he was conscious of children he was conscious of uh, women their works uh, children used to cry that's why our prophet muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wasallam used to cut short his prayer it means that our prophet muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wasallam take takes care of the of the children he warned that the children come to the mosque because they are the future future of our our community if we are praying we are doing song we are keeping fast we are doing zakat and we are not bringing our children how they will learn the islamic ethics how they will learn the uh, art of living so we should uh, take our children to the mosque also one thing our prophet muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wasallam made the mosque most beautiful place in the world there is another story hazrat abu huraira radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu once went to the market and he saw the people busy in their works he called oh the people come to the heritage of our prophet muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alaihi wasallam come to the bounties of our prophet muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alaihi wasallam it is being divided in the mosque of our prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam so the people rushed they went to the mosque of our prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam but when they went to the mosque they saw nothing nothing being divided people came back and said to the people oh abu huraira there was nothing we went to the mosque but there was nothing being divided hazrat abu huraira said did you not see anyone in the mosque they said yes there were some people praying doing recitation doing tasbih istighfar but there was nothing there was nothing being divided you said that something is something special is being divided in the mosque is distributed in the mosque he said oh people you are fool this is the bounties of our prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam you saw the people learning you saw the people discussing is the islamic knowledge you saw the people remembering allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that is the uh, bounty of allah that is the uh, bounty of our prophet muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wasallam that is what i call something special for you it means that our mosques are most beautiful thing in the world and that's why our prophet muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wasallam said man bana lillahi masjidan bana allah lahu baitan fil jannah whoever built a mosque for allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the remembrance of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will build a beautiful house for him in the paradise in another hadith 
our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "If a person builds a cat-like shed, cat-like shed, and a shed which is built for uh, keeping cats, and it, it means that a small house. If someone builds a small house for people, for prayer." for uh, gathering people allah subhanahu, subhanahu wa ta'ala will make a big beautiful house for him for them in the paradise so dear brothers and sisters we should we should connect ourselves to the mosque we should uh, keep our mosque clean and we should uh, gather in the mosque to learn, to uh, to educate ourselves, to uplift ourselves spiritually, and we should make the mosque a source of learning, source of education, and source of unity, source of integrity, and source of social work. Also, I pray Allah subhanahu to Allah subhanahu wa taala that He uh, favors us with his bounties he Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shower his bounties on us and give forgiveness in this sacred month of Ramadan and uh, make ourselves connected to the mosque Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh